Chola the Drawer, an artist and adventurer from the UK. Let's get creative. Hey everyone, this week's video I thought I'd do a quick top five things that I cannot live without when muraling. So these are the top five things that I would pack every time and always need. Number one, frog tape. This is the best tape. It's bright green. It seals beautifully the edges. So for doing all the edges of the walls, for doing nice straight lines, if your design has straight lines in it, it is perfect. I would recommend it for definite. It's nice and taut, it's sticky. Definitely take frog tape with you. Number two is chalk. I use this to draw out the doodle grid. I use it to draw my design onto the doodle grid. And by having different colors, it means that um, you can tell the difference between the doodle grid and your drawing of your design. You can draw on top of different colors as well um, by having lots of different colors too. Whereas if you had like a pencil, you might not be able to see it on certain colors if you have a background color. And it's nice and quick. You just whoosh, chalk it out. So I would take chalk. Number three is a screwdriver. This is to get into the pots of paint. You can see I've been using some green recently. Yeah, I use this to open all the tins of paint and no matter what size, super handy, take a screwdriver. Number four is string. I would always take string with you. What do I use it for? Turns out I seem to always design murals with circles in it. And this is the best way to draw a circle on a large scale. So I've attached a pencil to the edge with a knot um, around the pencil and a little bit of tape to keep it secure. And then I use this to draw circles. It's also handy um, when I've done a repeat pattern. So I had a wave and then I want to get the same distance for the next line and exactly the same um, shape wave. So I would use the string to trace along the wave and then use the pencil, use the pencil to draw it. It's a super handy string. Take a long piece so then you can create circles and repetitive shapes. Final thing, number five is baby wipes. When you create a mural, things can get a bit messy. You might not necessarily be near a water source if you're outside. You might not be able to um, wet a cloth to clean things or um, get water to fill a bucket for paintbrushes, things like that. Baby wipes are so helpful. Uh, if your brushes are getting a bit dry, you can put baby wipe uh, on the end to kind of moisten it. You can use it to clean off paint if you spill some anywhere, uh, not if you spill a lot, but little specks. You can use it if you make a mistake on the wall when you're drawing with chalk. You can use it if you've got a scaffold and you've got a hand back in and you need to clean it, which is what I did the other day. Just super, super handy to have baby wipes with you every time you mural. Those are my top five things that I cannot live without when I'm muraling that I would pack every time. I have another video that is my full kit list because this isn't very much at all, but these are just some essentials that I find very useful um, when I'm out and about muraling. Let me know if this is helpful. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you pack these things, whether this was helpful for you to pack your kit for your first mural job. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next creative adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.